Hey, it's Tony here at Smart Toyota in Madison, Wisconsin. Hey, today we're taking a look at our very first 2022 Toyota Corolla Apex Edition. So the Apex Edition was new in 2021, and it is the quote-unquote sportiest of all Corollas. So a lot of great features on the Apex Edition. And as I said, this is the 2022 edition, and not a lot has changed from 2021. A small price increase, less than a couple hundred dollars. But uh, let's dive in, and uh, if you haven't seen this video or you haven't seen any Apex before, hopefully you'll find this helpful. So up front on the Apex Edition, really the theme is a lowered profile on the vehicle and then a lot of great uh, add-on trim pieces with gloss black finishes. So we'll start up front with the gloss black badging on the, uh, and you'll see some of that on the, the back of it, but the Toyota badging. We have a full complement of LED headlights and daytime running lights. These headlights here are what Toyota is referring to as j-curve headlights and so those are all leds and they look awesome on here behind that black shield right there is your sensors for your dynamic radar cruise control and your pre-collision so the corolla has the top of the line safety features that toyota is offering on all of their vehicles in fact the corolla was the first one to have the full complement of safety sense 2.0 uh, 2.5 on it so the front grille is this huge uh, uh, piano black or gloss black mesh grille and then you'll see they've added some gold uh, uh, accents around the lower air dam here so this gives it a much lower profile these are LED uh, accent lights here on the outer edges and then it kind of wraps around with that uh, body kit Kind of notching out away from the side of the unit so really a nice looking uh, profile on this now I'm not confused this is not a sports car but it is a sporty car so the uh, wheels and tires you're looking at a, a huge uh, 18 inch cast aluminum black painted gloss black painted alloy wheel and that wheel and tire package that's a 40 series tire so a nice low profile tire i gotta tell you it's going to handle really nice at high speeds but it does add to the rigid ride that with the sport tuned suspension on the apex gives it the sporty feel toyota is looking for so four wheel disc brakes anti-lock brakes traction control and stability control all standard on the corolla apex edition They've also got the gloss black exterior mirrors with the LED turn signals. These mirrors do fold in. They also break away. So if somebody clips them with a grocery cart or a bicycle, uh, this mirror is convex, so it does give you a objects in the rear view mirror appear closer than they actually are. Then they've added this lower uh, rocker panel accent again with the gloss black trim and the gold striping on there and it really gives the vehicle a low profile by doing that notice it too has that notched out effect right here so it doesn't exactly come up against the door curves out and around but again going for that sporty look now the color on this one is cement so it's kind of a, gr a green gray metallic finish, colored to match door handles, also smart keyless entry system. Apex does have the blacked out roof on top with the blacked out shark fin antenna, all gloss black, and the sunroof is not available on this edition. What do you think of the style so far, taking a look at it from this angle? I think it's a really understated sporty look to it now this one does have the add-on spoiler so this larger spoiler which really ties in nice with the ground effects that is going to be an extra charge on the apex edition gloss black apex badging toyota badge and gloss black corolla badge there is a backup camera that's going to be up underneath here and then they've carried over on the rear fascia 
the gloss black uh, mesh look we saw up front on the Apex Edition with the gold striping. Now it does have a unique exhaust tuning on here as well, so kind of a cone effect. I'll go ahead and jump in and rev up the engine so you can hear what it sounds like, but it looks nice coming out the back. Of course, it's not a dual exhaust system on the uh, Corolla. This is the two liter four cylinder, so you're not gonna get a dual exhaust system out of it. Let's go ahead and uh, rev that engine up. Okay, diving under the hood on the Apex Edition. This is not a unique engine to the Apex, but it is the larger of the two Corolla engines. So this is going to be the two liter, four cylinder. It's a 16 valve gasoline engine, produces 169 horsepower, and it's connected to a CVT automatic transmission. Combined fuel economy is uh, 31 miles per gallon, that's city and highway combined. Uh, the engine and the transmission have a five year, uh, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. And then you also get uh, Toyota Care, which covers your basic maintenance. So Toyota Care is going to cover your oil changes, uh, your fluid top offs, and your tire rotation. Toyota covers those uh, maintenance items for two years 25,000 miles so no worry about spending money on oil changes that type of thing that'll save you several hundred dollars over the first two years of ownership and if you bring it into the dealership here at Smart Toyota uh, for your oil changes we also include a quick exterior car wash so not a big deal worth probably five or six bucks but every bit helps in maintaining your uh, Corolla now the vehicle itself has a three year 36,000 mile limited warranty and that's designed to cover manufacturer defects. So jumping in on the driver's side first, uh, the door panels are a great way to point out the color contrast on the interior of the Corolla Apex. So the upper part of the dashboard and the doors, that's gonna have a light gray uh, finish to it which gives it a nice bright well uh, lit interior and then they've included the brushed aluminum accents on the door on the armrest door handle power one touch up and down windows power door locks power mirrors bottle holders down there as well as uh, speakers in all four doors as we head inside We've got some controls right here on your dashboard for dimmer switch. And we also have automatic high beams, part of the safety sense. So that the high beams go on and off depending on oncoming traffic. Four of these vents across the front, on, off, up, down, left, right. The seats on the Apex are unique for the Apex edition. And let me just show you what makes them unique. Um, so they're a light gray, kind of with a a tan stitching in here and then they are all cloth it's so kind of a sport mesh cloth with the silver insert and then the gray and black racing stripe with height adjustable headrest and height adjustable seat belts side airbags and the seats themselves also are height adjustable there's a handle down here so you can bring it up and down of course you can recline it and move it forward and backwards as well Let's go ahead and uh, jump inside and check it out. So behind the wheel on the Apex Edition, this is the Toyota's three-spoke steering wheel, leather wrapped, it's not heated, uh, but it is very comfortable, driver's side airbag, of course. On the left-hand side, we have controls for your information center. So that's gonna be located up here in the gauge cluster. We also have controls for your sound system, Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone, and then over on this side, we've got controls for cruise control, lane departure, um, and um, dynamic radar cruise control settings are right here. Also controls to be able to change the sound settings on your sound system. Up here, windshield wiper controls, they are intermittent wipers. And uh, we'll get into the gauge cluster in just a second, but there's a quick look at that. 
And then over here are our light controls, our headlight controls. And we do have automatic um, uh, on and off as well. So auto high beams and auto on and off on the Corolla, um, all Corollas actually for 2022. Now, as far as the gauge cluster goes, on the left-hand side is our tack and our, our uh, temperature gauge. Down the center is an analog speedometer and then your fuel gauge is down here. And then over here is where we find the information center. And so right now it's displaying the car and it's demonstrating that the hood is open. So there's some visual indicators and indeed I do have the hood open on here. So that just uh, tells you that it's monitoring its systems all the time. Now this one, does have the smart keyless entry system so it's a push button start system and you do get your remote keyless entries but this one is also the six speed manual transmission so in order to start this one you have to have the clutch all the way in and then you can go ahead and push the start stop button which is back here and that'll help you uh, get you started up So those uh, gauges are kind of a white, black, white on black gauge cluster. And then the, the needles here, they're um, red. And at night they look really awesome, but they're mechanical needles. And then over on the right hand side I mentioned before is where we have our information center over here. I did want to point out there's rear seat monitoring. So it tells you if anybody's sitting in the back seat and whether or not they have their seat belts on. So that's really great for kiddos. To make sure they're doing what you expect them to do but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features on the information center so once again using my thumbs i can go ahead and toggle through uh, different settings so i do have a digital speedometer there's our on and off for our cruise control our dynamic radar cruise control or our pedestrian detection or our lane departure i'm sorry there's your trip meter and then here's our safety sense setting so um, lane departure, pre-collision, road sign assist, all of that is all part of that. That road sign assist is, is pretty nice. It actually reads the road sign, so it'll tell you the speed limit. It'll tell you that there's a yield sign or a stop sign uh, or a do not enter sign, that type of thing. So get a visual indication of what's going on with road signs. So let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the center stack. So this is kind of a tablet style center stack and it stands uh, straight up and down. Uh, does not have navigation, does have a small app suite so you can run a, you can run a navigation app off your phone, um, a maps app off of your phone. Um, as far as the audio features go, uh, it does have um, Sirius XM satellite radio and you get three months of the premium subscription also, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatible. It's a decent sound system. It's not a premium uh, sound system, but in this size of car, it does sound really nice. Automatic temperature control, but be, bear in mind, it's only automatic controlled thermostat on the driver's side. Passenger side, they don't have their individual controls. Front window defrost, rear window defrost, and also the outside mirrors, these mirrors out here those are going to be heated mirrors and so when you turn on your rear wi rear window defrost it actually gets the ice and snow off of the outside mirrors so a nice feature there here's your push button start we've got uh, a small storage cubby down here uh, this is not for wireless charging just a place to drop your stuff and then right up under here is a USB charger charging port. There's not a lot of charging ports in the Corolla. There's really only, I think, three total. I'll show you the other ones in just a second. Here's your glove box. Of course, you get the owner's manuals. This is not a locking glove box. Your dashboard is padded, and it does have the stitching in here. It's pretty subtle, but overall, it looks nice. It does have an airbag indicator as well for your passenger seats. Now this one is the six-speed manual transmission. Uh, uh, just so you know, this is a front-wheel drive vehicle. You may not be surprised to hear that, but not everybody knows that. Um, so we do have intelligent manual transmission settings here. 
traction control on and off. I love the, the lighter color with the gloss black and the, the uh, chrome trim here, it looks nice. We do have an electronic parking brake and a brake hold. So if you need to hold it while you're sitting on a hill or something like that, you can do that. And then there's two cup holders right in the center here. But overall, a pretty nice compact driver-centric center console and sound system setup. We'll take a look here. Your armrest, interesting, is vinyl, and it has the same co color stitching that we saw kind of on the seats on the armrest. It's a little on the small side. Probably one arm is going to fit on there. And then on the inside, it's a little bit smaller. But there is a storage compartment. There's a USB-C 2.0 and then a standard 12-volt outlet. So those are your three power outlets or power points. There are none in the back seat. Kind of surprised they didn't take care of that this year. But it, it could be installed by the local Toyota dealer or we could do it at our dealership. Whatever's best for you. Passenger assist grip up here. Side curtain airbags. Uh, vanity mirrors on both sides that do light up. Uh, visor extensions. Standard uh, day-night mirror. We do have overhead lights here. And we also have Toyota Safety Connect. So if you're having issues or out on the road, tap that. Toyota will get you the roadside assistance that you need right there. So overall, I think a really nice, well thought out interior design up front. Let's uh, go ahead and jump in the back seat. Here's a look at the uh, driver's compartment from the back seat. Really nicely laid out. Good visibility out the front from the back seat as well. So a couple uh, features that are notable in the back seat. Number one is there is a storage cubby right down here, but no USB charging ports. So and and it's not lined. So if you throw if you put something in there, the minute you hit the gas, I think it's going to come out. It is at an angle, so maybe coins will work in there or whatever. But the reason I don't like it, uh, one of the reasons I don't like it is it's not lined. So if you have something in there, all you're going to get is a bunch of rattles out of it. The other thing I would uh, mention is there's no pockets on the backs of either one of these seats which is somewhat odd because Toyota's gone to one pocket on this seat in some cars some cars have pockets on backs both seats this one has no pockets whatsoever on the back seats um, now I've got the back seat folded down just for your demonstration purpose but this is a 60 40 fold down seat so I can access into the trunk here there are child safety anchors on these back seats here for your child safety seat. Uh, there's cup holders that are in the armrest, which I've got down right now. There's three seat belts back here. Uh, it's going to be tight for three adults, but three kids could do the ride uh, pretty easily. Passenger assist grips up on the, the ceiling up there, up on the roof. And there's your anchors there on the back for the child safety seat. Um, I did put this driver's seat all the way back. Um, actually, no, it's not all the way. It's about halfway back, so that's your leg room. Uh, I've got the passenger seat at about the same distance, and this is going to be how much leg room I have um, behind here. So it's not too bad in the back seat. I do know that when you pull that one all the way back, uh, like a six foot foot or plus, you're probably not going to want to have somebody tall sitting directly behind them. but the seats sit up nice and high and they are comfortable so let's uh, go ahead and uh, jump into the trunk so the trunk does have a remote uh, release with the key fob unfortunately it's not working the reason it's not working is I've got all these doors open so that's just kind of a little nuance so I'll have to go up the other way to open it is use your uh, trunk release and your gas door releases down here on the floor so you can do it manually but if you've got doors open like i do just know that it's not going to work as a safety feature so diving into the trunk itself does have a nice lower uh, lift over height to be able to get big items in and out as i mentioned i do have the seat folded down so 40 percent 60 percent there is a cargo light up here as well, so at night you can see what you got. It's got a reasonable uh, distance across the back, 
but I don't know if you'll be able to fit your golf clubs in. Depends on the length of your driver, of course. And then down underneath is where we find the temporary spare tire and your, your tire kit. So the Apex has a temporary spare tire, um, which is different than some of the other ones. Uh, you can also get some of the other models with a fix-a-flat but temporary spare tire. And you can see there's room underneath there for jumper cables or emergency equipment as well. It's a nice lined trunk. The deck lid itself is lined. And then there's an emergency uh, escape uh, latch and that's um, glow in the dark. So pretty nice on that front. Okay, so that's your 2022 Toyota Corolla Apex Edition. This is the first one here at Smart Toyota. The color on this one, cement, has one option, and that's the Apex Spoiler, so that's an extra cost item. This one's available today, uh, October 14, 2021. Inventory's been incredibly difficult to get, uh, so this is the first one we've got. It is available for sale. If you're interested, uh, go ahead and give us a call. Uh, or visit smarttoyota.com right away. Hey, if you like this video, you got value out of it, go ahead and uh, toss me a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, let me know and uh, subscribe. Questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. This is Tony at Smart Toyota. Thanks for watching.